Thank you, very cool. I am an artist, okay? I really am so excited to be here tonight. Nick, two minutes till show, okay? Two minutes. Hey, whose cat is this? Mine, who is lonely, so I brought him. Okay, well, I'm, I'm allergic to cats. You're super low on crudite. There's someone we could talk to. I know, I'm just trying to get the set ready for... I'm hungry. Okay, I'll get it. Oh, I think they need more crudite in the green room. Thanks, man. Crudite? Excuse me, I am an artist, okay? Look at what I have created. Who took the string cheese out of the bowl, okay? This is for decoration purposes. No, no, absolutely no. Hello, crew, yes. There has been a string cheese incident and it is unacceptable, okay? Do not touch my craft services table, all right? It is my art. It is my canvas. Would you go up to a Van Gogh painting and smear shitty diarrhea on it? No, you wouldn't. Listen, get ready. Hello? Ugh, demands of the job like I'm security. Is it all right if I wand you right now? Sure, yeah. Today. Mm -hmm. We can make beautiful music together. I'm sorry? Okay, no, but I heard something, so now I have to search you because of, like, the war on terror. Like, rest in peace. All right, I think I'm all safe. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what? The only thing dangerous about you is that I could fall in love with okay. you. Take care. Thank you. Very cool. Okay, babe. Nice. No, nah, bro, get out of here. Uh... I haven't been out of line this long since they were giving out free diaphragms at that high school. I heard this is for one of those comic relief shows. Ooh, I love comic relief. Yeah, sure. Whip Goldberg. Bill Crystal. You know who the hottest young comic on the market is today? Who's that? Paul Reiser. Oh, from About You. He's funny. He is. He's naturally, naturally funny. funny. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seat. The show will begin shortly. No, it is my pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, to bring to the stage security guard Robert Perusha! Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, hello, my name is... Robert Brucia, <laughs> AKA Bobby B, AKA Bobby Bottle Service. <laughs> okay, very cool, very cool. Okay, I'm the security guard here today, and I want to say to you first and first mostly <laughs> safety first, but also. Be dangerous. <laughs> okay, so I'm here to go over some do's and don't do it. As far as the rules and regulations go here at the show, okay? So first, no cell phones, unless it's like an important call from one of your boys. Like, in my case, that would be, like, Jimmy Z or Danny Do, because, like, he always does. <laughs> no drinking to assess, okay? <laughs> We've all been there, okay? Like, I was once, and on a number of occasions, I've been a VIP guest at a number of different UFC tailgating events. <laughs> and on one such occasion, I challenged a small girl to a push-up competition. <laughs> but I had just simultaneously, in moments before, 
eating a number of vodka-infused cold bay beef sliders. <laughs> At which point, I fell into a state of dehydration because to drink water is to show weakness. <laughs> but I digest. <laughs> a couple of other things to think about. If there's like a fire, put it out. <laughs> also, if there's like an earthquake, just be like, not today. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, an earthquake is, as science is speaking, is like a platonic shift. <laughs> so that's like when one part of the earth is like, oh, let's just be friends. <laughs> and the other part of the earth is like, no, I bought you dinner, let's do this. <laughs> I would say to you also, like, I'm not only a security guard, but I do a number of other things professionally. Like, for example, I am the author of a number of early stage pyramid schemes. <laughs> I'm also a record producer. So, like, hit me up on MySpace or whatever. You can find me under my DJ name, which is DJ Oriental Immigrant. <laughs> because, like, I lay down crazy tracks. <laughs> and, like, that's not racist, because I jerk off to Asian girls. <laughs> so in a summarization finality of what I could be saying to you, and I will say, and it will be on my tombstone, in conclusion, remember, vodka, <laughs> Jesus, Revenge. Tonight's show is sponsored by websites. Do you love the internet but you don't know where to go on it? Try websites! All right, everybody, welcome to the stage. Necro! Acknowledge your fear. I am so excited to be here tonight. Uh, I feel honestly like this is like my second bar mitzvah. <laughs> and I'm hoping that this ends with a hand job from a 13-year-old girl as well. <laughs> uh, I can't thank you guys enough for coming out. And I know you were looking for some comedy, and, and, and there will be some, but, but I... <laughs> I was at the DMV yesterday, and... There's like every walk of life in the DMV. Like, it feels kind of like you've walked into the Star Wars bar. <laughs> There's like fat Asian kids on leashes running around. Some alien playing like four electric clarinets at the same time. <laughs> My favorite person I saw there was this old black woman who was just teaching a bag of sunflower seeds a lesson. <laughs> My favorite thing about the DMV is that I feel entirely comfortable farting in there. <laughs> no other public place would I treat with such disdain. <laughs> I was standing on line and, and I just crop dusted the whole area behind me. Like the night before I had eaten like a tuna Oreo Parmesan. And then I had like a bunch of shots of rail vodka. And came home and was like, what's a nice midnight snack? Brisket and yogurt. <laughs> and I wake up late the next morning for work, grab like a handful of almonds, like that's breakfast, and then nut farts all day long. <laughs> and so I just get online and I just napalmed them. <laughs> like a little Vietnamese girl could have run out on fire. <laughs> Like, if a photographer had been there, he would have won a Pulitzer. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so the woman behind me was like, well, I never. And I was like, pay your parking tickets on time? <laughs> That's why you gotta smell my nut farts! <laughs> I love hip-hop. I love, like, mid-90s hip-hop, like Tupac and Biggie, right? Give it up for white people. 
drives me crazy that those dudes got killed and we never figured out who did it. Not funny. <laughs> Yet. Just to give it like 30 <laughs> seconds. It's crazy to me that Tupac and Biggie got killed and we never figured out who did it. And I'm like, you know what? We've been going at it the wrong way. Like, who stood to profit the most from their deaths? And that's when I realized that it was the airbrush portrait artist. <laughs> And I would not be surprised if the huge denim jacket industry had something to do with it as well. Clear a path. Come on, Betty, come on. You okay? Oh, can I just have a glass of white wine? Actually, uh, once the show starts, we don't serve any more alcohol. Oh, crap. What are we gonna do? Can we at least have two empty martini glasses? Or is that also illegal, Dick Cheney? Topical. And now a uh, bottle of vodka, please. This is a TV taping, so there are rules about alcohol. Are you joking me? We got wasted at that Webster TV taping we went to. From what I remember, Webster was a show about a small black man who's owned by two regular-sized white people. He wasn't owned, you weird liberal racist. Whoa! Excuse me. We are not racist. Yeah. Tell him, Gil. I stalked Felicia Rashad for three months. A judge had to get involved. So... so. Look, you guys, I'm sorry for giving you such a hard time. It's just that I'm going through problems with my girl. So you know what you need to do there. That's okay. You need to get into some of that good, dirty talk. You know, shake her, please. Or, you know, what you do is you say, ooh, touch my little Jewish dangler till it gets chubby and cries yogurt. Oh. Yeah. George, what do you say in the bedroom? No one talks during the act. All right, vodka in. Now, if you could just get me a couple cans of tuna fish. Obviously. Uh, we don't have tuna. You don't have tuna? What well, do you luckily, mean you don't have tuna fish? I am carrying. We're making a tuna teeny, baby. Some people know it as a martuna. The lesbian community knows it as the martuna to have it till over. There's a funny story about this drink. I was having lunch with Dick Van Patten, and I turned to Dick at one point, and I said, Dick, there's too much tuna in your tuna teeny, but my martuna needs more tuna and we laughed over it. And I then submitted that to the Talk of the Town in New York magazine. And they canceled our subscriptions. So. so let's add a little vodka to this. To the Nick Kroll Comedy Special. Not. <laughs> like Dwayne's World. Mm. You know what? You can really you can taste, taste the, the tuna. tuna. Thank you for the hospitality. Uh, before you go, can I have my shaker back? What's that? What's Somebody that? took my shaker. What'd you oh. say, Poitier? Let's see your bags. All right, all right. This is a, a butt product for health. Uh, this is the hot new thing, which is Workman. Oh, yeah, this is Dog Giamatti. It's a dog named after Paul Giamatti, because it's always crying. This guy called me up one night, and I thought it was a heavy breather, so I jade. And then afterwards, I said, you know what? That might have been a pug. And it was. You have my shaker. Well, the, oh, it oh, fell in there was by this. accident. Oh, and I've got a little uh, stash of uh, nose candy. Where could two guys go and do a little cocaine? Uh, outside? OK, so the bathroom. Okay. And we will see you around, Jack. Uh, I prefer not to. OK. All right, All right Whoopi. We'll see you in a bit, buddy. Whoopi. You know, I want to have kids one day. And besides the fact that having a child means that you're constantly saving something's life, <laughs> what kind of scares me is that I'm going to have to explain certain things to them, like how the Holocaust happened, or like what 9-11 was, or who exactly Michael Jackson was. <laughs> and before you get your panties all in a bunch about it, Let's just remember that before Michael died, all we did was make fun of him. <laughs> and just because he's dead does not mean he wasn't hilarious. <laughs> so can we all get on board with this? <laughs> Wonderful. So I'm gonna have a kid, and the kid's gonna be like, Daddy, who is Michael Jackson? They're like, oh, he was this amazing musician and dancer and singer. Well, what did he look like? 
look like? Uh... Well, when he was a little boy, he was this really handsome little black kid with very kind eyes and a very sweet smile. What about in his 20s? In his 20s, Michael looked kind of like the jazzy lizard king. What about when he was older? You can give me various examples. That's fucking cool of you. Is it weird that I swear in front of you? I only see you like once a month. It's because your mom's a bitch. <laughs> what do you look like? All right. Um, he looked kind of like a, like a squirrel skeleton with frightened eyes. Do you have any friends? Yeah, he was good friends with a monkey for a while. That seems like a red flag. I know, we didn't see it. I don't know what to tell you. We didn't see it. He was good friends with Magic Johnson. He put him in a music video. Who was Magic Johnson? Oh, he was a basketball player. Was there anything else that was interesting about him? Uh, well, Magic was HIV positive but he found a cocktail of drugs that worked for him. <laughs> he lived for a long, long time, and eventually he died of old AIDS. <laughs> did Michael have a family? Yep, yes he did. Uh, he had a bunch of brothers and they all looked like shiny Carl Lewis. <laughs> what did his daddy look like? His dad, who I learned most of my parenting skills from, <laughs> looked kind of like if a California raisin fucked the devil. <laughs> oh, hello, do you date me? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought this was the women's restaurant. Oh, you're very much in the correct place. This is the woman's bathroom. I'm the woman's bathroom attendant. My name is Bobby Bottle Service. Oh, you're that security guard from the stage. I'm like a jack of all cars, though. I do like bathroom attendants as well. Okay, well, um, I have a headache, and I was hoping you guys had some aspirin or something. Oh, okay. I could get rid of your headache. I, I really just need that aspirin. Oh, yeah, I mean, I got, like, Self-tanner. No, that is wrong on uh, so many levels. Oh, I have solution. Cologne. No, that's not gonna help me with my headache. Okay, what about steroids for your headache? Oh my God! Why? No, no, put the, I'm not, no, oh. I'm not interested, please. Oh. Okay, this is for, for fresh breath for kisses. Closer, but I don't, okay, no, no, no. I feel trapped because I do have to use the bathroom, so I have to interact with you. I find you repulsive. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Hello. We're just doing a little key bump of cocaine. Sweetheart, you want to do a little kiss of cocaine? Hey, let me ask you a question. Are you one of those prostitutes we heard about on 2020? What? And B, if so, do you accept Discover card? And C, do you accept expired diners club card? Okay, I don't even know what you guys are doing in here. This is the women's restroom. Because we clog the men's toilet with hummus shits. It looks like Jonestown in there. Oh, sweetheart, come back. We want to tell you secrets with our genitalia. Mine looks like a bunch of gray flaps. I love comedy more than anything, and I'm lucky that I get to do it because I'm really not capable of doing anything else. <laughs> Like, I, I remember I used to go on job interviews and I would get so panicky and they'd throw so many curveballs at you. Like, I remember this one interview, the guy was like, so Nick, what's the greatest weakness? <laughs> and I was being interviewed by Tim Gunn from Project Runway. <laughs> I just panicked. I was just like, um, I guess my greatest weakness is that I have no strengths. <laughs> But I do believe you have to follow your dreams. And uh, that's why I actually keep a dream catcher above my bed. <laughs> but then 
like, just to be fair, I keep a picture of my dad next to it so that I can have a dream crusher there as well. <laughs> Doing comedy, I, uh, I travel a lot. I'm in airports constantly. What I don't understand going to the airport is I've seen like a crazy growth in the amount of shopping that happens at airports or the amount of stores that are at airports. Like, who's making big ticket purchases at the airports? Like, who specifically is buying a suitcase at the airport? <laughs> Because they're selling a crap ton of them there. Like, who's rolling up to the airport like, what did I forget? <laughs> uh, drop the sock. Hold on a second. <laughs> Got my cell phone charger. What? Up, oh, drop that same sock again. All right, there we go. Oh, that's right, a suitcase. <sighs> <sighs> But all of that I can understand. I don't understand if you go to the magazine shop at the airport, your Hudson News, who is buying porno magazines at the airport? Because they're selling them there in a section called Men's Interests. <laughs> Who's rolling up and is like, all right, let's see. Um, let me get a bag of trail mix that I'll eat one handful of and then keep in my backpack for six weeks. Hmm. Black Poles, White Holes looks like a good magazine. <laughs> and a $23 bottle of Dasani water. <laughs> and I'm ready to go. If you're still using porno magazines, you're basically telling everyone that you have no idea what the internet is. <laughs> using a porno magazine is being like, oh, I don't use lubricant when I have sex, I just use this cup of sand. <laughs> And then you get on the plane with your porno magazine? What are you, like, you're, it's like, excuse me, stewardess? Gonna need a blanket, please? <laughs> Traveling a lot, I, I, uh, I drunk pack. Do we all know what drunk packing is? <laughs> right? Just like you come home, you're like. <laughs> Gonna watch this extensive infomercial on silent. Pour myself a cup of water and then forget about it on this table. <laughs> and now it is time to pack for my five day trip to Jamaica. <laughs> what do I need for five days in Jamaica? One underwears, <laughs> six bow ties. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bring this bulky Santa suit with me to Jamaica. <laughs> it's gonna be so hot in Jamaica. Birchman's gonna be like, dude, why did you bring a Santa suit? And then I'll be like, dude, why did you touch your dog's dick when we were kids? <laughs> I'm gonna bring some weed because I don't know if they're gonna have any weed in Jamaica. <laughs> Pictures from seventh grade. <laughs> I should probably look at these for 45 minutes. <laughs> what happened to Jen Reeser? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Facebook detective. What's up, Jen? I don't even remember you. Do you remember me? <laughs> anyway, I see you're in a relationship. Things are good for me. I'm so sorry I said that you put tampons in your butt. <laughs> uh, I never forgot you. I love you. I killed my little brother, Sin. <laughs> now I'm getting sleepy. 
gonna turn my cell phone alarm clock on silent. <laughs> oh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna pack in. I'll just get a suitcase at the airport. <laughs> Tonight's show is sponsored by the toilet. That's a shower and toilet in one. Do you want to use the shower in the morning, but you also need to use the toilet? Let's do it in one. Okay. It's green gold technology, eco-conscious. Use a toilet. Take a shit in the shower. And we're back from commercial. Yo soy el chupacabra. Cucurrico, cucurrico. And I'm Simon Casting, Nick Cross. Thank you, very cool. Aquí en 911.9.com. And I'm here with the baby. ¿Qué pasa, baby? ¿Qué pasa, baby? That's right, baby. That's what I said, you're a baby. And I'm here with an old man. ¿Qué pasa, old man? Este, um, yo soy muy viejo. Yeah, you're really old, you old man. And what is my circus? And you saw you go. Oh, hello, go. Cucurrico. Cucurrico. How are you feeling today? I'm very hungry. Tengo hambre. Oh, you're hungry, go? What would you eat if you could eat anything? Garbage. That's right, you stupid goat. I will suck your blood. No, don't suck my blood. <laughs> he doesn't like when you argue. Oh, you talking to me, old man? I fight you with my fist. No, don't fight with the fist. <laughs> you, everybody, be quiet. We have to get back to the show. What's the show? I don't know. It's some gringo named Nick Kroll. Who is he? But, uh, he does lots of characters. Oh, so you know about alternative comedy, old man? Sure. I miss the websites. Hey, goat, you stupid goat. It's time to do the traffic report. I'm much on traffic. Okay, thank you for the traffic report. <laughs> it's now time for the joke of the day, the joke of the day, the joke of the day. What is worse than finding a worm in your apple? AIDS. AIDS is worse. It's a debilitating virus! I do find dating so difficult to do well, and like, my friend one time was like, you should like be casual, just like go on a coffee date. I'm like, who goes on coffee dates? Has anyone here ever been on a coffee date before? It seems like the worst idea. So go on a coffee date. Oh yeah, because my best foot forward is jittery with diarrhea and coffee breath. <laughs> <laughs> For the sake of this next joke, like, I'm not great at sex. And, I, like, on a scale of one to Prince, one being the worst, and for some reason in my mind, Prince is the best person in the world at sex. And I don't know if it's, like, the periwinkle eyeshadow or the, like, the velour onesies. But I picture Prince like this tiny hummingbird who just comes up and just sort of like fucks you for like two hours. And you're just like, thank you, Prince. Thank you. And he's just like, you're welcome. <laughs> so on that scale of one to Prince, I would say I'm like Jim Belushi. <laughs> <laughs> By round of applause, who here thinks that we should change the name of the Cheesecake Factory to the Diarrhea Refinery. <laughs> I drive by that place, and I'm like, oof. Oof, Magoo. Shouldn't have thought about the tuna Oreo Parmesan. And I just want to address that I know that I talk about farting and pooping and diarrhea a lot. And I want you to know I do it because I think it's so funny. <laughs> Even more than talking about diarrhea, I like to Google the word diarrhea, but then spell it wrong. Because then Google has to be like, did you mean diarrhea? And then I'm just like, Google, grow up. Why does he have a special? There's nothing special about him. I'm the artist. You know what this audience needs is a little Fabrice Fabrice. No, you 
give me that microphone. I'm taking the stage. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the stage for Breeze for Breeze. This is eating time out of my special. the beast from the east. The name's so nice, you have to say it again. <laughs> and I'm the caterer here at the Nick Crawl. Thank you very cool special. Yeah, it's fun. And they said, oh, if you want to go on stage, you can go up there. I said, I'm not going to ask you to go on stage. I'm going to take the stage. And he said, OK. I said, all right. He said, fair enough. I said, very good. He said, cool. And I said, you're Jewish. <laughs> And he said, that's true. So that was that scenario. <laughs> I have also worked at a number of award ceremonies. But here's my problem, OK? Every year, there's some actor who gets nominated for playing a retarded person. Now, I'm not allowed to say retarded on TV, so what I'm going to say is a frittata person. <laughs> There's not a big difference between celebrities and frittatas. <laughs> they both get driven everywhere. People are always asking who dressed them. And if you make eye contact with them, they fucking flip out at you. <laughs> now, my one true passion in life, the one thing that I love, the one thing that drives me crazy, the one thing that brings me hope and joy is spoken word poetry. <laughs> Slam poetry, that is good stuff. It is hard to do. It's like rapping, but you don't have to rhyme. <laughs> So I'm going to do a spoken word poem for you right on the spot. All I need is a suggestion of a type of food from you, the audience, OK? I heard trout. I heard Twinkies. Mashed potatoes. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. That guy said that word funny. Ooh. trout and mashed potatoes and spaghetti and Twinkies. I love food. Food is sexy to me. But you don't control my body. I'm going to have an abortion. But you try to chop me down at my knees. You try to take who I am and what I believe in and my feelings and my feel motions and my emolings, which are the feelings in my molars. <laughs> chomp, chomp on insecurity. Chomp, chomp on celery, which has no carbs. What I know is that one in every 10 black men in America is in jail. I know that three out of every five Asian women is in jail. <laughs> and yet we move slowly like snails. Escar, go get yourself a conscience. And where are you? You're at the Olive Garden. <laughs> what can you eat at the Olive Garden? Trout. What can you eat at the Olive Garden? Spaghetti. <laughs> All I know is that when I'm at the Olive Garden, I'm family. <laughs> Which means that I borrowed $10,000 from the waiter and never paid him back. <laughs> But all you do is smoke your drugs and your trouts, and you think to yourself, what do I have? I have douse. What's inside of me, a cream filling? No, you motherfucking Twinkie. It's not a cream feeling. It's a cream filling. That's one big Twinkie. That's from the movie Ghostbusters. <laughs> Thank you.
when we sit down for our last supper and we see all the plates in front of us, maybe have a little trout, <laughs> maybe have some mashed potatoes. And you know what goes good with both of those? Fried chicken. <laughs> you know who loves fried chicken? Black people. <laughs> you know who else loves fried chicken? Everybody. <laughs> that shit is delicious food. Tonight's show is not sponsored by cats. Hey, cats, you're the worst. Go fuck yourselves. No cats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage. Steve. I really want to get into it tonight, okay? So, cats or dogs, guys? Cats? Anybody say cats? Cats? The girl that looks like she likes cats likes cats? <laughs> well, just so you know, uh, you're wrong. Cats are the fucking worst. <laughs> I hate cats. They are so cold and indifferent. Like a dog will bring you a newspaper, according to cartoons that I watch. <laughs> Cat will be like, oh. Oh, you wanted a newspaper? <laughs> oh, I thought you wanted this decapitated rat carcass. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> I have never seen a blind person with a cat before. <laughs> seen a whole lot of dogs with them. Blind person's like, hey, dog, let's go to the library. Dog's like, you got it. I don't care that you're blind. You want to go to the library? Let's do this. <laughs> it's like, how do you know where the library is? <laughs> Google Maps, bro. <laughs> Cat's like, oh, you wanted to go to the library? <laughs> oh, I thought you wanted to hang out under this radiator for six hours. <laughs> I will give it to cats that they're like classy, they go to the bathroom in private. Like, I think that's pretty cool. Dogs are just like, oh! Why do I gotta look you in the eyes when I do this? Why is that part of it? Now I'm gonna arch my back, shake my legs, squeeze out this Tootsie Roll. It's like you can't take a cat anywhere. You could like, take a dog to the beach, throw a frisbee around with them. Take a cat to the beach, cat's like, um, pardon me, Al. <laughs> but before I don't go into the water, because that's gross, <laughs> and the only way to clean oneself is with one's weird sandpaper tongue, I was wondering, is there a baby about? Because I want to scratch something in the face. <laughs> And then they walk away like this, always like that. Always with their tail in the air. Like they think they're all sexy, like, oh. Bet you wanna fuck this cat ass, don't you? <laughs> Cat's asses look like pizza flavored combos. <laughs> How is it that a cat is one foot tall and their ass is always at eye level? Oh, now I'm gonna rub myself against this thing right here. Just in case somebody shows up six days from now who's allergic and I'm not personally here to make them itchy as fuck. <laughs> the tail has evolved, by the way, guys. It's up here now, but it used to be sort of down here. I would do sort of a, like this. Ugh. Now it's like, it used to be like this, and my, I'd be like, that looks kind of like a duckbill platypus. <laughs> and then my buddy's like, no. That looks more like you're like half-heartedly thwarting away a butt fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Quit it. <laughs> Trying to watch Idol, man. Come on. All right, guys, thank you very much. My name is Nick Cole. You guys are a wonderful audience. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, very cool. Thank you. Oh, hello. Wah, wah, wah. What a show. It's now time for Chupacabra to sign up and say goodnight. Cucurricu! Cucurricu! beard and then shaved it to create the concept of the chin. You look like a cute Rocky. Thank you so much. Where are you from? You sound like you might be Israeli sometimes. No, I'm from Westchester. Okay, which is the Israel of the world. Jimmy Choo Uggs. I went to Jimmy Choo's studio, and I slit his throat. <laughs> Ooh, I hope all of these things go on the internet at a shitty bit rate. <laughs> Can't take me home, but I will rob you blind. <laughs> that camera will explode now. <laughs> <laughs>